Hi guys, it's Danny. Okay, today we will be potting up the Renanthera Philippinensis orchid. This is a vendacious type of orchid. Really resembles Vanda's when it comes to care. Likes bright light. Likes tons of ventilation around the roots. This is why you see it standing in a basket just like a Vanda orchid. But these orchids, including Vanda's, can actually be kept in pots as well. For those of you who don't necessarily have the space to hang them, there's also the option to keep them in a pot. Now there are a few people, including Brad from Brad's Greenhouse, who does have this type of orchid in a pot. Usually people use clay pots because they are heavy and this orchid can get quite top heavy so it's prone to falling over um, and also the pots are very aerated clay pots are indeed very aerated the fact that i actually really dislike about clay pots is that the roots adhere to the pot like crazy and whenever you'll repot an orchid like that you'll most probably break quite a lot of roots if not the vast majority of the roots and really i'm not okay with that all the orchids that had root tissues broken roots stale a lot for me. Didn't matter the variety or species, they all didn't do well. So I am pretty wary about breaking roots too much. So this is why today we will be using the orchid top pots that I featured in a different video. These are plastic pots actually, the roots do not adhere too much on them and also they have tremendous amounts of ventilation as you can see. So I really think that Vanda orchids, vendacious type of orchids, will do good in these pots. Now this is my own little experiment. I'm gonna be using different types of media so uh, the results will pretty much be my fault because on the orchid top site they really give you their advice on how orchids do best in these pots but this is my experiment I think it will do great and let's pot this orchid up in a orchid top pot now the first layer of media that we're gonna use is actually gonna be lava rock now lava rock is a natural material that is pretty heavy so this will make the pot a little bit more heavy so the orchid will not fall over also it is very airy does not retain water and it's gonna be perfect for drainage actually and maintaining that airiness so on the bottom I'll just place a few pieces of lava rock lava rock is also used in those environments who have very high humidity because the added humidity in the air will keep the pot more moist and the lava rock does not decompose does not go to mush it's actually a perfect media for very humid environments and a lot of people use it with many types of orchids i don't have such a humid environment i'm just gonna use it for vendacious type of orchids actually or just to provide more drainage to the bottom then i actually prepared a mix uh, from kiwi bark and clay pebbles this mix again was provided by orchid top um, i kind of switched the ratio i placed 50 50 bark let's say and clay pebbles again for more aeration and this will be the second orchid that will be potted in the kiwi bark i'm testing kiwi bark out and i see that wade from wade's greenhouse uses it so i'm excited so far so good so now i'm gonna place some kiwi bark and clay pebbles to the mix and now it's time to place the orchid inside now because the roots are very attached to this plastic pot i'm not gonna remove it it's not gonna bother me it's gonna actually provide more aeration so i'm good with it and in time plastic will start to become fragile and eventually in a few years it will degrade and actually fall off on its own really so i'm not gonna remove it i'm just gonna place the orchid inside along with its basket and it should be just fine so i want to place my orchid quite on top i don't want to bury it too much in the media if some of the roots start to go outside that's perfectly fine actually that's pretty much what you want with this type of orchids you need to have some aerial roots as well some roots inside the media to have more moisture but don't worry you don't have to tuck all the roots inside now i'm just gonna add a few more rocks here and there just for some stability and aeration okay so pretty much my orchid is done it is quite heavy so i don't think this orchid will fall over no matter how tall it will get and this one will get tall you now have the option to either hang it or keep it on its tray wherever you like in the house so i decided to do this experiment because i really don't mind to have one less orchid on the strings where i keep my vandas it's really more convenient for me and i might not have to water this on a daily basis like i water my vanda orchids also if this works well then it's another alternative for those of you who really don't have space in their apartments 
but you really want to have a Vanda orchid or a Vendacious type orchid because let's face it, they're beautiful. So I will keep you up to date with the evolution of this orchid. If this works well, I hope I gave you some ideas. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your orchid friends. Also, you can subscribe to my channel here. I post on a daily basis, so you will stay updated with this orchid and my other orchids. Feel free to leave me your questions or suggestions regarding orchids in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you will find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to our community in the forum section. And if you're wondering what to watch next, why not clicking on the right side of your screen and see a beautiful Vanda orchid. Thank you so much for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!